What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I love our brother, John Boyega. He's a strong, pro-black brother. He speaks with a certain level of strength. And I like his commitment to the people. He does a really good job in the industry. And for what I understand, for the most part, he he only really deals and dates black women. All right? He's one of the few actors. Don't quote me, but this is what I believe. This is what he deals with. He only deals with the sisters in the black community. Now, with that being said, Brother Boyega is being blasted by IG influencer. I believe they said that the young lady's from Zimbabwe. I'm not sure. But she is, she is, she is, she is thick as hell. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if that is real. But her name is Pam Mac B. All right. Now they they have stopped dating. And, and this is what I want to tell you, brothers, right there, right? When you guys start getting some money and you brother start smashing some of these chicks, these chicks get mad when you don't want to deal with them anymore. Now, it could be true that he's saying some things about her. But one thing I do know is he's not talking about her anymore. It's her talking about him. All right. And so she's ranting on IG stories. And again, when you look at how she presents herself. Um, it's typical from what I can understand. She looks like and appears to look like what I would consider, I could be wrong, your classic clout chaser. All right? Now, I want to read some of these posts that she has said about him. All right? You don't get to have the last M and F and word at John Boyega. All right? And then she said some other things like, um, at this point, please feel free to use those evil words you use towards me. People use towards me. Go crazy knowing that someone I trusted, I shared a bed with, cooked for clean, and was kind to for months on end can lie and do the same. Is the penultimate torture. Okay. I don't care. I don't care. Let me unravel. The deceit is unbelievable. Keeping a lie going since May 2021 is bold, bold. Uh, Jigas will use uh, the mouth they scrub and moisturize with the lawnmower products. You give them the light on you crazy. Um, I don't know. And, and also she has this like something is wrong with this lady. Okay. Something is wrong with her. I have no idea. But this is what y'all are dealing with. All right. She's a clout chasing IG model. I'm not saying that she don't have no points. I don't know the lady. But this is what you brothers get when y'all deal with them. I'm going to tell you. Once y'all deal with a lot of these IG models, you know what they're looking for. Fame. For the most part. Okay. I don't know why guys do it. Guys do it. I see some guys on, you know, some, some YouTubers have been exposed getting in girls' inboxes, IG models, and things like that. Um, I mean, I wasn't, um, I, I have been on OnlyFans, tricking it off under another name, but never on my real name. But that's another story. All right. I don't know, you know, and like I said, this is, it's different than maybe being in their inbox and you hooking up with them and like flying them out. That's what guys do. Y'all hook up with them and fly them out to where y'all is at. You don't know them. And they come out with all this other stuff trying to basically land blast the guy. And this is what you got to put up with when you get money. That's the part. Y'all work so hard to get this. I'm trying to tell you, okay? Like, <laughs> y'all work hard. Somebody is saying that, look, she thought he was an honorable guy. Most people are not honorable. Yeah, I mean, that's how it is. And when I look at how she, you know, how she present herself, 
it would seem like to me, okay, it's not so much different than what I'm seeing in other people on Instagram. What you said you shared a bed for months. What is months? Two months? I mean, the guy didn't take you seriously. He's a young dude. He, you know, you feel played. What are you going to get out of trying to expose him on the Instagram? When everything that you do on your stuff, you're looking like a cloud chaser. But that's what he gets. Y'all got to leave. When you get money, man, look, I'm telling you, just because you can do it don't mean that you got to. It's going to be some ladies out there with some crazy bodies out there. It's going to be some ladies saying yes to, you know, when you, when you broke, man, they don't say yes that much. Maybe if you look a little bit better, they may say yes. But even if you look decent and you're broke, they, most good looking women got so many opportunities to deal with other guys that they're not going to just deal with you because, you know, you look good, you, you good looking and whatever. Maybe here and there, but they're not going to really take you that serious. You can't really count on it like that, right? That's kind of what happens. So now imagine you, as a man, I want you to listen to what I'm about to say. You've been broke. You remember how it was when you was broke. Now you got money. Now you look good to everybody now. When you got money, you look good. You look better. So now you're getting into these chicks, these ladies. You can go to different countries. People know who you are before you get there. People saying yes. Even sometimes, man, the word spreads before you get there. Even if you're in the business world. Because a lot of brothers don't end up getting a lot of money with like as fame. You get money in niche communities. So let's say, for example, if you're in healthcare. The average chick don't know you. But you go to these healthcare conferences, nurses, sales, medical device sales. It'd be beautiful ladies there. So when you're a doctor, you're a pharmacist, all that. Hey, that's open the door in a niche. She brothers can understand in these niche markets. Like, I don't care what it is. Farming, poetry, fashion, photo all of those are niche markets where you meet beautiful women. In any market where there's money, is women gonna be there. Beautiful women. And if you're doing very well, man, your name spreads to that community like wildfire, especially if you treat people nice, especially if women have vouched for you, then it becomes easy, man. But just because it's all you can eat buffet don't mean you're gonna eat everything. And then sometimes you out here dealing with a woman that you really don't, and we all got this, I mean, I have this problem, had this problem before. You know, it still struggles today. You you want to dip in taste with it and all of that, but you don't really want to be serious with them like that. I get that. But when you got that much money and that much like certain things, the IG models, come on, bro. Not the IG models. With the BBLs and the clout chasers. Why that? Why? You guys got to be serious with yourself. That's how women start damaging your name. He did this to me. And they could have been the ones in your inbox. They could have been the ones begging you. It could have been all of that. But guess what? Guess what? It don't matter. Y'all got to chill. So guys, what you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of A Subway Junk. Thank you for all you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.